say after that one? I think toughest, biggest loss in club history. Oh, look, firstly, the, the first 50 minutes, I thought we actually, you know, I don't think there was anything in the game. You know, we sort of gave them a couple of length of field tries from intercepts and we had some blokes who weren't performing at their best, but we certainly were competing well. And then we picked up a couple of injuries and under some adversity, I think we had some players that, if truth be told, some weren't at the races after that. And uh, we had some players who were good players who had to just keep playing under fatigue and not having the ball made the game extremely difficult against a good side. In terms of you want more resilience in that, don't you? The fact that this, the Storm had injuries as well. Um, oh, wait, I'm not saying that the, the way we performed in the last 30 minutes, the injuries are not an excuse. I just said exactly what happened there. We were right in that contest and we were competing well and then there wasn't a great deal in the game. And then when we picked up a couple of injuries, we certainly didn't respond very well. And we had some players who probably were a little below their best at that stage that when it got harder and harder, thought the easiest option was to look for the easiest option. And unfortunately for a lot of our middle forwards who worked really, really hard um, and did a great job for us, you know, not having the ball under fatigue made it extremely difficult at the end of the game. What do you so say after that? Sorry, you know. Some people did, yeah. I've got no doubt at all. I've been in this game a long time and it's disappointing to actually sit here and say that, but some people looked for the easiest, easiest way out they could and that's sad. That's not a reflection of all the players. We had some players that worked extremely hard and put themselves on the line, you know, but when you're playing against a team that's that good and you don't have the ball, you know, the best players can look not good, you know, the storm can, that's what they can do to you, you know, and then being under extreme, I think, I don't know how many tackles we had the ball for in the second half, but you could put many players out there against and, and you know, sometimes the fatigue causes people, you know, to make some, some bad decisions, but we had some people that made some bad decisions, not so much because of fatigue, and that's what's disappointing. That's a choice, right? Like, that's a mental thing. That's a, definitely a choice, yeah. So how do you fix that? Uh, I've got some ideas, but not public ones. Is that surprising to you? You go to the group to see them compound like that and those players you're talking about. So that's yeah, surprising. definitely, definitely. With if you look at our results this year and the way we've performed, I think we'd all agree that you know we've showed you know we I think last week we defended our 20 metres. We had nearly 80 tackles against the Roosters on our goal line and how well we did. And I think you saw us against the Tigers when we had 12 men at the end of the game and we had our share of our own injuries, a lot of our own players not playing and what the boys did. So. I think to see tonight, I think, you know, with some people it certainly was a surprise, you know, but it's happened. Um, and I feel for a lot of the boys that put the effort in as opposed to some blokes who were off their game a touch and then obviously made some, some poor choices. You know, it's disappointing, yeah. It's disappointing, it's hard. How is uh, Dalen and how is uh, Curran? Um, Dal's up and walking, which is obviously positive, but he's obviously had a bad concussion, so um, how long that is I couldn't tell you. And, and Josh has got an MCL. As a coach, how tough is it to, to turn around the morale now moving forward? Um, well, we'll get up tomorrow and obviously we'll have a chat when we get back to to uh, Brisbane and then we've got a short turnaround, yeah? And the positive thing is we are playing in about four days' time. We don't have to wait eight, nine days to play. We've got a short turnaround and Matt we'll get back into it. Big figures, big numbers when you talked about players that did put in. He's working hard, mate. Yeah, I think it's great adding here next to me. You know, those those boys, our middles did a terrific job. Yeah, like as I said, if you look at the first 50 minutes of the game, the middles did a terrific job, and we had some players that come up with a few little mistakes out and out wide that you know give, gifted the Storm two length of field tries. You know, and that's against the Storm. You don't want to gift them anything. You know, and we gifted them two length of the fielders, and then they got two from kicks. You know, that's where they sort of got their early results, and I think. You know, we'd all agree we were doing pretty well then. You know, we were right in it. You know, we'd sort of give them a couple of things, and we had to earn some stuff off the back of them. And then, unfortunately, as I said, when we picked up a few injuries and we needed a little bit extra out of some people, we, some people couldn't find it, and we we needed to do better there. Adam, I'm sure you don't want to throw your teammates under the bus, but do you agree with the sentiment that some of them just gave up, stopped tackling? No, oh, yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't watched it back, but you know, <clears throat> just. Um, our effort across the board wasn't good enough. Um, they scored too many really easy tries. Um, yeah, I mean, it was just inside shoulder. It doesn't matter who you are, you know, how much experience you have. You can't just turn up against one of the best teams in the comp and um, you know just assume that someone's going to tackle someone. You have to put your body in front um, of people. And you know, we had too many tries where people were just looking out, and not worrying about who's in front of them, and they just ran in. You know, pretty pretty much untouched tries.
bit of surprise you had, given the fact that you guys have actually defended well and been in pretty much every game you've played? Yeah, <clears throat> you know, definitely didn't see that second half coming. Um, you know, and I just think that um, we just need to get back and watch it. And boys need to be, uh, you know, have a good look at himself, um, you know, be honest with each other um, when we do our review. And, you know, hopefully we can just, I don't know, get, get over what happened tonight and focus for the Raiders. Um, we can't really dwell on this too much. You know, the, the good thing about it is, you know, um, you know, we get to play next week and we get to, you know, get a right of reply. So, you know, obviously there'll be a lot of people saying a lot of things about us, but the only reply we can have is turn up next week and have a dig. Passionate fan base. What's your message to them after tonight? Oh, look, we're, you know, it's disappointing what happened tonight. I mean, take away the fact that's um, the score, take that away. Um, it is Anzac Day, and um, it's a day of, uh, I suppose, we're, we're supposed to be proud of certain things. You know, today's not going to go down as a great day for us. Um, not a reflection of the way all the boys played, that's for sure. You know, some blokes had some really, really good periods. And as I said before, you know, to defend some of the boys out there that would have looked sloppy at the end of the game, it wouldn't have mattered who was playing against the Storm in the second period if we, if we, if they had to do that amount of tackling and didn't actually have the ball in their hand. Um, but us at our best and hanging in there and playing tough, the scoreboard definitely wouldn't have got to near what it did. And it's not the result in the end. You know, if we didn't have that ball in the second half and Storm had that much, yeah, you know, we would never win the game, but it's the, the way that we fell apart in some certain areas. It's the disappointing thing, and and it's disappointing. We can't hide from that. I can't sit here and bullshit, dear. It's disappointing, and it's Na tough. Nathan, you actually back in the, in two thousand when you were playing for the Dragons, they had the same margin against the Storm. Do you remember what happened the week after? Or when I actually happened? remember it very clearly. We were beating the Tigers and I kicked the ball out in the full with not long to go in yardage and then they scored and beat us. So I actually do remember that very, very well, to be honest with you. Yeah. What about the way... Do you, do, do you still recall the way the team was able then to regroup? Because obviously you were still oh, in the fight. Look, the, the game's time. different today to back then. Like, a, you know, a score back then was... You know, there wasn't as many big scores as you see now. Like, the way the game is designed now and the way the game is... You know, when oppositions like the Storm get flows of possession and they get fast play of the balls, you know, the score blows out quicker now. So the game's very different now. So, I'm, you know, the score that happened to us today is embarrassing and it's not good, but it can happen quick now today. The game back in back then when it happened to us, it was uh, it was not real normal for that to happen, if that makes sense. Yeah, so it was... Uh, there was a, They're all tough for different reasons. Um, it's not something you want to experience. Unfortunately, we are experiencing the club and our response next week is really, really important. Message through, that if you're going to give up, oh look, I'm not going to sit here and make any statements about doing certain things now to players. I just I'm pretty clear about what I think happened and what I know happened, and you know there's going to be some strong messages from certain individuals. There's no doubt about that. You can't hide from that. Uh, what we do off the back of it, um, we'll just have to wait and see. Will those messages be uh, no, no, not publicly, but done yeah. in front of in the group? Will it be about accountability to each other? Oh well, some conversations are best off being individual, aren't they? You know when they're you know, certain in certain messages need to be, you know, delivered certain certain ways, and it's not about trying to embarrass anyone or put anyone on show. It's about trying to find find out some solutions so you don't find yourself in the situation again. That's the key to it. And uh, some of our younger players out out in the backs today had some extremely difficult days, you know, and uh, and they've come a long way from this time last year, and they found themselves in some bad situations today, and we need them to respond a little bit better than what they did at certain times when things don't quite fall their way.